Hello everybody, my name is Christian Quick, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about transparent blocks and animated blocks. To make a transparent block, you just simply need to make a new class inside of your, um, your namespace. And then we're going to be just making a class directly, and we're just going to call it whatever your mod is, and then write client. This is because... Uh, for transparent textures are placed in the world, they need to also be seen by your client, and your client can see them. That's why they're either black or, or well, that's why they're black. Gray is a different issue. But inside of here, you need to make sure that it is implementing the um, client uh, client mod initializer, just like this. It's going to say you're going to need to implement a method uh, to on initialize. That way, when it starts up, it will be able to play it. And it's really nice. Uh, we can now put in our block uh, render layer map dot instance dot put block. Then we can put in our mod uh, blocks dot block, and then we can say render layer dot get cut out. Well, that fixes that issue. But the problem now is that the HMH3 is not actually being claimed anywhere. If we go into where this is being called, and we go into the fabric mod, or you can just go into your fabric mod directly. Uh, this there's a point in your fabric uh, your fabric mod called entry points and then there is a main so we're going to control C and control V and we're going to call the second one uh, client and then we're going to have it point to the cl uh, client uh, class that we just made so if we go back it's now going to be lit because it's now being used and we'll be processed as such now unfortunately it looks like our block that we have here doesn't have any holes so it looks like uh, we're going to change this one, and we're going to make this one the uh, animated uh, block. Uh, we'll get there. Oh, I didn't mean to write block twice. We'll 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 just kind of hold on to this file and uh, we'll update it. But this blocks is now going to become a uh, block. So basically, I want this one to be its own thing. So we're going to need to put some holes in here. Let us open up GIMP. And inside of here, we can make our 16 at 16 texture, and then we can make, uh, let's put like a, just like a black outline. All right, that's got plenty of holes in it. So we're going to now put this in a place that we can find it. So we'll write a block, and then we're going to override the other one. It's like that. And then let us make the animated block. So let's go into our mod blocks, and we're going to go into here, and then we're going to control D, and we're going to make one called animated block. And then we're going to do the same thing down here, animated block. So one thing that you're also going to add to your regular block, so now it is see-through, but we're going to need to add something called the dot non-opaque. What that is going to do for your transparent block is it's going to make it so that if you don't have it, uh, it's going to let you see through the block, and then any block after that you'll also be able to see through if they're touching. What non-opaque is saying is if that block, the block that's connecting to the back of your block, should not be see-through, it's going to stop and you will you'll only see through that block that you have. Um, so make sure that your non-opaque is on because it's, it's pretty formal. If you don't know what I mean, you can just try it out for yourself. For the animated block, because we made a brand new block, however, that means that we are going to have to make a brand new block state, animated block, and then we're going to have to change all of the instances, animated block, animated block, animated block for the item animated block and then up here animated block Ooh. animated there we go it does have to be and now it's pointing to uh, this which I just realized says animated so interesting <laughs> um, that is perfectly fine Let's see, if I just close out of this texture, I can actually drag things back into GIMP and drag it back. And then let's find a cool way we can animate this block. So let's make a new, so basically how animated blocks work, you're going to want to make a 16 
and you're going to multiply it by 16 times the amount of frames you want. However, you are also not limited by this. That is just the basic number amount. If you wanted to do 20 by uh, and then 20, and then you can multiply that 20 by the amount of frames you want, you can do that as well. You are really not limited as long as all the numbers that you're making them are even because any odd numbers will mess with the mipmop levels. So let's just, you know, you can keep that in mind, but with that, no other other information is needed. And what this is going to do is it's going to just go from the top frame and then just kind of keep going down. But there needs to be for every 20 frames, so I can easily do this by just selecting all of this until I hit uh, 20 light here and so it seems that this is where the end of the frame is going to go and then for every 20 pixels below this is going to be the next frame and that's how we can do our frame by frame animatic and now this is an animated block and it's going to do it frame by frame however right now what it's going to do is it would majorly just squish all these frames and we don't want that we actually wanted to um, take the frames and we need something to take this file and we're gonna have to add another file extension in a different file called an MC meta file best example that you can grab is uh, coming from our folder of everything and we can go into our textures block and then anything that's like literally I wonder if I can look up the file type yep MC meta so anything that comes in here with an MC meta file literally has a bunch of frames so whichever one you feel like looking at and if you're also curious what has a PNG file, this is a very good example. I usually always grab the magma or prismarine file. We're just going to drag this in here. Instead of calling it magma, we're going to call this the animated uh, block.png because it has to be the, it has to point to this file because this is not a texture. This is one of those files that's going to grab everything. Now, Java. Uh, starts at zero and this is JavaScript I'm guessing it is exactly the same in the sense of the top frame is going to start at zero the second frame is going to be one two three and four once everything is basically done so we look like we have a total of five frames but it's counted as zero one two three and four so uh, frame time you have eight pretty cool that's actually pretty swift uh, interpolate just means smoothly go from one uh, transition to the next uh, so we got one two uh, we can say uh, three, four. Make sure that the last one that you have does not end in a comma. And then let's just hit uh, play and check out both our blocks. So here we have our block completely see-through. It's got that nice face, the non-opaque. We can see completely through, as you can see, no troubles here. And then because I can not see this dirt, if I had this non-opaque on, then it would just see through that dirt and I could see through the world. Uh, and then it would be like the same thing if I just press against it and you could just see there. It's how my x-ray blocks my mod. Um, and then let's try and get that animated block. So we're gonna do slash uh, give at s. And then we'll do the animated block. Placing it down, it's going to be uh, pretty interesting. It does does move around. Uh, it's a little bit uh, flashy because of that transition that we have going on. Uh, and you can see it just kind of like moving around in circles. If you don't want it to like throb like this because you have high tr uh, contrasting colors, then what you can do is uh, you can set it to uh, false. And this is more of a frame by frame animatic. We can restart it and you'll see how it will just, just cycle through them one at a time, no transition. It's going to wait until the eight frames are done and then instantly flip to the next frame, wait eight ticks, go to the next frame. And just in case you're curious, it is 20 ticks a second. So if it was 100, that'd be five seconds. Uh, but you can see here now it starts to just uh, transfer everything evenly. But you can do any kind of animation you want with this. It's really up to you. Uh, it, it doesn't, as you can tell, it does not have to be a 16 by 16 texture. Uh, it could be any size you want, as we've learned from the previous video. And with that in mind, that should generally cover the end of our animated blocks. So hopefully you had a good time learning all this stuff. Uh, and then in our next video, we're almost done with all the assets that I'm going to be going over. So we just got Lang and then probably like one or two other things. And then we're going to get into all the amazing things about blocks. So this uh, this painful journey about assets is just about only o o just about almost over. 
But I would say that all the hard stuff is uh, gone over. So if you have any questions, you can still ask me in the comments below. But that should be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, 